there! Welcome to today's video. Today we are going to dive deeper into the installations of CUDA Toolkit and CUDA Driver. Before we actually start the installation, I want to share some background information which is necessary before we jump into the installation. So we are going to spend some time understanding the concepts and then we are going to install and then finally we're going to verify the installation. I might actually divide this uh, whole video into maybe three different videos because I'm afraid it might get too long. So you can watch whichever uh, you would like and I will give them appropriate title. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, when we talk about CUDA, there are actually two aspects to it. One is the driver. So as you can see in this diagram, so there is a, this is the GPU driver. And then it comes with two things. One is the kernel driver, one is the CUDA driver. So this is one part. And then secondly, we have CUDA toolkit that sits on top of the driver. So you can install both at the same time like the driver and the CUDA toolkit, you can install that as one package and we, we will see how. Or you can choose to install driver independently from the toolkit. And we will understand why that might be a um, good thing to do. It really depends on use cases. So there is no, I wouldn't say there is one way better than the other. Okay. So we have this GPU driver and then we have this CUDA toolkit. Now, whether you need both or one, it again depends on what you're trying to do. For example, if you are just trying to run a CUDA application on your machine, you probably just need the driver. But if you are a developer and you are, you want to build an application, CUDA application, then you will need CUDA toolkit as well. Okay, now we have that. The other important aspect before we start the installation is that if you're trying to install a certain version of CUDA toolkit, then you will need to have compatible driver installed on your machine. So there is one compatibility check that we must do before we, before we install the CUDA toolkit. Right now that we have the high level view, let's go into some more details. So here are some documents. These are all NVIDIA do official documents and they're pretty thorough and I encourage you to read through them because once you start to understand all of this, it is less likely that you will have issues when you start installing things. Okay, let's go through this documentation real quick. So again, for CUDA, there are two things. One is the driver itself, and then is the CUDA toolkit. So uh, we will first learn about the naming convention. So here, if we come down to the tool, CUDA toolkit versioning, so the, the naming convention here is pretty standard in the software world. So if they have a major version, they have a minor version, and then you have um, patch or release version. So for example, let's say you have 11.3 CUDA toolkit version. So this 11 would be a major version, dot three will be a minor version, and then if you have another number after that, then that's your patch or release version. So this is the versioning of the CUDA toolkit. So now if you go down here, you will, you will read a lot about compatibility and how do you, um, how, what do you need to look for when you have a driver and a CUDA, CUDA toolkit? What do you need to look for in terms of compatibility? So let's take a couple examples. All right, so let's say you have a CUDA toolkit version 10.1. 
Now, if you go to the release page for 10.1 version, it will tell you what is the minimum driver that you need for this CUDA toolkit to work. So in this case, it says it needs the 418 minimum version to run this. Now, if your system has a driver version that is higher than this minimum, you can still run this CUDA toolkit. So this is, this is what we call backwards compatibility. On the other hand, if you, if let's say you have CUDA 11 and it needs minimum version 450 and your system has a driver version that is lower than this, then you would not be able to uh, run CUDA 11 on that lower version. Okay, so uh, important thing, when you are installing the CUDA toolkit, look for the minimum driver that you need and make sure that the driver installed on your machine is at least meeting that minimum or is higher than that minimum. Okay, and then let's go keep going down so you can read more here. Uh, but I am going to move on to other documents. Um, Maybe let's go here. Let's see what they have. So here we, we just learned about it. Um, compatibility. Okay. We saw what com backwards compatibility was. Backwards compatibility again is uh, whatever the minimum version you have required for a CUDA toolkit. If, uh, if you have a driver that is higher than that version, then no problem so that's called backwards compatibility then they also have something called minor version compatibility and forward compati compatibility um i would say minor version compatibility is uh is relevant um this one you can read through but probably does not apply to you okay now uh we are ready to start the installation so again uh, you can install driver and CUDA toolkit separately. 